Okay, uh, what we're going to teach you in well, this lesson is one, how to properly hook up and unhook your gauges. As you can see, we got a set of gauges here. We got our blue hose with our little loss fitted that goes to our suction line, okay, our low side. We got our red hose, also we put with a, a low loss fitting going to our small line, the high side of the system. You can note here that our pressures on an R410A system are 133 on the low side, the suction side, with a 25.4 degree coil. That's the um, indoor temperature of your evaporator, the internal temperature of the evaporator coil. And on our high side, we're 242 PSIG of pressure and uh, 6.7 degrees of subcoolant, and I'll explain that later. Okay, so uh, after we get all of our readings, what we're going to do is I'm going to shut my ball valve on my high side. Okay, that blocks my exit. So when I take my manifold gauges and I open both sides, okay, what that is going to do is bleed off all of my pressure that's internal of my hoses back into my system. And then what you should see is you should see it equalize. Okay, 140 and 140, okay, and it'll eventually equalize out. <coughs> Shut my gauges off, okay, both of them closed, and I'm going to simply unhook my manifold gauges and I lose very little refrigerant charge. 